Hey, what's up guys? Spam Music Production, how y'all doing? Today here in FL Studio, got a very special day for you. Those of you that are fans of Stranger Things, got something very special. I'm going to be showing you guys a really, really cool melody and a really cool preset that you guys can use for FL Studio to achieve that kind of Stranger Things melody type of effect. And also the vocal type of effect. You know that kind of dark type of melody effect that they have got. So this is what we're going to be doing today and I'm going to show it to you. So let's go straight into it, into FL Studio and yeah, let's let's cut chase. Oh, if you just started watching, make sure you hit subscribe, hit the like, drop a comment below and that's it. Let's go into it. Hey there guys, what's up? Bad Music Production and here in FL Studio I'm going to be showing you how to create that Stranger Things kind of inspired melody effect and vocal effect in FL Studio. Very very simple and really really cool thing to do and you're going to enjoy this. So this is what we've got and this is what we created using all the effects and everything. Hit the like below, come on. Take a step and maybe tell me what you want. Way. So really, really cool effect. And check this out. If we take off the effect, okay, and we take off the effects of the melody, check this out. This is what it sounds like. So as you can see, totally different, really, really cool effect. So what did I do to create that effect? First of all, there's a plugin that I've used and I come across it and it's by UJAM. It's called Neo and it costs $99 and it's really well worth the actual, you know, the money because what it does it gives you that spacey kind of effects. And if you want to create those spacey kind of melodies and stuff, this is perfect. Now. If, if you haven't got it, it doesn't matter, you know, you can use the free version, which is micro filter. So there's a link below in this video for the free version if you don't want to get the Neo one. But if you got that extra $99, there's a link below if you want to go and get it as well. Apart from that, this is the effects that we've added. We've added a fruity parametric EQ to this video. Now on this fruity parametric EQ, really simply, we took the preset and use the vocal presence. That's all we did. So we added that to the vocal. So this is what the vocals sound like. So let's turn off the melody. So that, that's the first effect we added. Then we added like a fruity multiband compressor, as you can see over here. And on this fruity multiband compressor, we use the preset and went down to vocals and I usually use these two as a main bass kind of for my vocals so this kind of lifts the vocals a bit uh, so this is what it sounds like now the world we're living in is the world that goes around and then I use like a fruity reverb kind of effect and fruity reverb I take the wetness the wetness <laughs> I take the wetness up to about 89% and what that will do is that will give it like this wetness kind of effect obviously and we take the percentage and give it like 12% of between 12 and 15% not too you know we don't want to put too much wetness on it just you know don't want to make it too wet lads <laughs> okay so <laughs> I should really stop with these jokes. Apart from that, if you really like my tutorials and stuff, you know, I would really appreciate a link below. A link, a like, a like, like a mobile. Like. Um, anyway, sound goodenizer. Um, you know, mode is D. The reason we've gone from D is because it's got that kind of um it's got that kind of tone we want to achieve those uh, Stranger Things kind of mellow type of sound. We don't we don't want it too high because like the A's we've got very high pitch and stuff. D is just perfect with the flats in the middle. Really really nice. So D is what we've gone for. And again we set this to about 65%. So not 50, 
not 70 but 65 percent and just leave it like that and this is once we enable the reverb and the good nice that this is what we get uh, the world we're living in is the world that goes around now what we do guys is we're gonna add a soft clipper to it and soft clipper will prevent anything from clipping do you know what I mean? So just to make sure you prevent anything from clipping, just put a soft clipper on there and I'll stop anything peaking. And then we added another reverb, guys. Another reverb? Why? I like to overlay my reverbs to achieve the effect I want. I like the wetness of the other reverb, but now I'm going to add a reverb up top of the wetness and the other one to give it a bit more atmosphere. Leave the settings as they are and just take it to 25%. That's it. Leave that on. Now listen to this. Uh, the world we're living in is the world that goes around. See that? So we're achieving this kind of atmospheric kind of reverb. Really, really cool. I mean, check this out. Without the effect. Uh, the world we're living in is and the world that goes around. I don't need to talk, do I? <laughs> so then we're using Isotope Vocal Double R. Now, those of you that don't know, I've done a video on my channel. If you look at my YouTube on how to use this, there's a link in the more description and video on downloading Vocal Double R. Really, really cool VST plugin, free to download. All you got to do is enter your email and you will receive a, a full lifetime serial code which you input and you actually get the license to use it. Now on here what you got to do is for the vocal double I set it to about 52% on the effects and just take this little knob and drag it um, just you know towards the right all the way full so you get very separation 100% um, variation 50 gives you that really kind of cool double vocal effect without too much distortion too much saturation and gives it just a right amount so this is what it sounds like now the world we're living in is the world that goes around See that? It's just a little touch So if you listen to it Take a step back maybe tell me what you found So it separates the channels really nicely left and right really nice And then to finish it off guys There's this plugin U-Jam Well Neo by U-Jam It's a finisher Cost $99. There's a link below if you want to go and get it. Now, it is a really, really cool way of adding like a uh, effect to your tracks. And I'm using the schoolyard announcement effect, and this will give it this kind of um, really, really cool kind of atmospheric announcement type of effect, which fits really well with those Stranger Things type of effect. Let's check this out. Oh, just single. Right, so there's loads of different effects we can you know we can use. For example, this one is really good as well. And this is called Shroom Infusion. And there's loads of different ones. Uh this the Sauron's not amused is another really cool kind of Stranger Things into influence type of effect on this plugin. You know, and you can flick through them, there's loads of effects. I'm not gonna go through all of them. The world we're living in is the world that goes around. Go for a few of these so I can demonstrate. Uh, the world we're living in is the world that goes around. I mean, there's just tons and tons of different ones. So as you can see, you've got the crush type of effect. You've got swirl type of effect, shape effects, boost, and inspiration. Different kind of reverbs. Really, really cool. And there's just loads of them on the inspiration, as you can see. Really, really cool ones. And yeah, so definitely, definitely worth it. Now, I'm going to go and stick on what I had. So... We're gonna stick it to the schoolyard announcement and on the piano now. So going to the piano, this is what we had on the piano. 
this is what it sounded like without any effects. And what we did is we added the finisher on there again, the Neo finisher. But this time we used the, the Martian effect. It's like a spacey kind of effect. And we put that on. Gives us that really cool Stranger Things effect, right? How cool is that? And, you know, even if I take this and just play the piano. So if you watch me play. Alright guys, and before we go, we're going to show you the whole track, what we've made here. And we just took the volume down to about 40%. And yeah, let's enjoy this. So, I hope you guys really enjoyed this tutorial, you know, we made a Stranger Things influenced type of effect in FL Studio. You've got the links to everything below, including the whole FL Studio preset. This is a quick melody that I made here, which you guys can use for free, relative free, so if you can use it in a track, you can sell the track and everything. I don't mind if you guys use the same piano that I use for this. The links is all below, so you'll get the melody and, you know, all the links to all the software and everything that I use is below. Um, apart from that, if this video can get 50 likes, we will do another vocal and melody type of effect next week. Apart from that, keep it Stranger Things and hit the like, subscribe. See you again soon. Peace out.